Welcome to the 24th of August Coronavirus Recovery Update. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your shine of coffee and let's have a look at the recent results from the John Hopkins Johns. Johns Hopkins, I'll get it right one day. Johns Hopkins map showing all of just the active cases, the uh, total number of cases and the recovery rate for the coronavirus. Today we'll be looking at Australia and New Zealand and if we jump over here we can see Victoria, I missed yesterday I'm afraid, is sitting at 13,708 people that have recovered from the virus. That's an increase of 768 in two days. No other state except for Western Australia and South Australia have each recovered. WA has got has one additional recovery. It's now totaling at 634. South Australia is at 456 with four additional recoveries. That brings the total to an additional 773 people have recovered, while only 366 have been infected in that same time period. That means our rate of recovery of those that have been infected is at 77.51%. Over in New Zealand, the Kiwis, they've had seven additional recoveries, which brings their total up to 1,538, while they've had 17 additional cases. That brings their total up to 91.88% recovery rate. So there we have it, everyone. It's looking pretty good for Australia at the moment. Did anyone hear? You know, we've had some really big numbers. We've had some really big numbers, recovery rates. Did anyone hear about it? You know, on the 21st, it was over 2,000. Didn't seem to make the news. Didn't seem to make the headlines, did it? But the reason I want to talk about these figures is it's a bit of positive news. Coming from this, coming from this, it's not a death sentence, everyone. Not by any measure. Not by any measure. If you actually look at the symptoms, look at the mild symptoms, I suspect there'll be a lot of people that have this that won't even realize they've got it. But the, you know, but the problem is, as, as we, we saw in a, an article the other day with glucose as, a, well, in some ways a fuel, and, well, a significant proportion of our population overweight and probably pre-diabetic, with potentially elevated blood glucose levels that could pose a risk to a lot of people. But that is something at least you can manage. So here we have it, guys. Some good results. Good news. Let's, uh, you know, dwell on the positive for a change. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. If you're a fan of the channel and want to support what I create here, there's a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or KuCoin. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. Have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.